everyone, welcome back to the vlog and this is all about my funniest moments in nursing. I have to put a disclaimer here, obviously for confidentiality reasons, I can't mention names and places and things like that. And these are just things that are a bit light-hearted because, you know, nursing is fun sometimes and sometimes you have these little funny moments that keep you going in nursing. This isn't to put anybody down this video, this is just to show a little bit of light-heartedness. So when I first started in healthcare, I worked in a care home for the elderly and back then we didn't have electronic an electronic hoist so we had a manual one that you would have to stand on and pump it up when the patient would be in it and you'd be pumping the patient up instead of having an electric one that sort of like that uh that was hard to explain sorry guys um and uh i just remember working with the this other girl and we put the patient in the sling we attached the patient to the hoist and my colleague decided to get a bit foot foot heavy on the pedal so she's like this on the pedal pumping the hoist up and the patient's like this <laughs> in the hoist <laughs> going up oh this poor patient i had to say whoa hang on slow down a minute because it did get to the point where i was like this is a little bit too much for somebody my gosh next funny story of the day so again when i was working in elderly care uh we had this one patient and they would fall asleep in the lounge and then their dentures when they were asleep that because their mouth would open their dentures would fall out and this one day they were just sat there and as she was sort of going they were rattling so she had these teeth that were going <laughs> oh it was so funny and uh I, I lightly like sort of woke her up and got her teeth back and explained what happened and actually she found it really really funny as well so it was an all-round joke uh, after that. Um, I don't know if this is funny or not actually it's, it's funny to me looking back but actually it's probably because I was so traumatized by it I've turned into a bit of a running joke now but I, I'll tell it anyway because yeah here we are. So I'd just been working at this care home, again, same care home, uh, for a, a good couple of months now and I'd built this really good bond with this patient. I'd been caring for her day and night, every day she was sort of my patient and I'd been really helping her and she got really poorly um, and she was coming to that end stage, end of life stage, uh, but we didn't know when and we didn't know what was going to happen or anything. Anyway, I showed up to work and they they gave the handover. You know, this patient had died in the night. It was really, really sad. And then someone said to me, oh, do you want to go and clean this this patient's room out? And I said, yeah, yeah, that's a really good idea. So I went up, opened the door and <laughs> no joke, I absolutely cacked myself and ran the hell back out of that room because the patient was still in the bed. That's right. She, it, still in the bed. No one had no one had come to collect the body or anything. Nobody had told me the patient was still in the bed, guys. So I'm going into this room thinking I'm seeing a ghost in the room. Oh my god. Oh, it scared the living daylights out of me. I've only ever seen that was my first patient that I'd ever seen that had, had died. Uh other than my own family member. I have seen my granddad die when he died at home, unfortunately. But this just scared the hell out of me. No one told me, no one prepared me for that. I, I legged it. I got the, someone else to come into the room with me because I was that scared at the time. But now when I think back, it is quite funny. But at the time I was I was ready to go. Then we have the student nurse one. So on my first day, my first ward. Uh, I went in to help this patient and as you, some of you might know that the bays that patients are in are quite small there's not much room in there um, and I was just walking around the bed trying to help this patient and I knocked their water jug off the table and all over the place I was mortified <laughs> so mortified all over this patient's clothes their books and everything oh my gosh I, I could have died there and then uh, luckily the patient was really okay about it and she sort of give a little laugh about it and i put all the stuff on the radiator and dried it out and but gosh i was mortified but thinking back it's actually like a funny little thing that you can so, sort of talk about to people because i'm sure it's happened to more than one person out there i hope next up my second placement actually <laughs> as a student nurse again and i was going to do the medication rounds with my mentor and i was just about to go on a break and they said okay after your break we'll go round and do the uh, medication round and i said yeah yeah fantastic she said have you ever done a pr before i said no no i said this is really exciting can i do this with you and she said yeah yeah she said i'll get you to do the pr shall i and i said yeah yeah this will be amazing 
I had no idea. No one told me what a PR medication was. <laughs> so there I was. Patient was there. The bum was exposed and she handed me the medication and I was like, where's this going? <laughs> I was mortified. I, happy to do it, obviously, the poor patient. It's absolutely not nice for the patient, but I was mortified that I didn't know what to do and I didn't know what was about to happen and I hadn't Googled it, which I should have done, really, on my break. Actually, just talking about that reminded me of another funny story. So when I was a healthcare assistant, just going back a little bit, uh, when I worked in sexual health, uh, we had a uh, patient who come in and they were just a quick test, what we call a quick test. So they've got no symptoms or anything. So they just do a urine sample and bloods or a vaginal swab and bloods. Uh, that's it. So I sent this patient off and I said, okay, you need to do this urine sample first and then you come back and we'll do the bloods and explained everything to them. No problem. The patient went off and we were sat there waiting for a good 10 minutes and we we're like, have they left the building? So we were like walking around, couldn't see them. Eventually they come back and this patient handed me the, the sample and I looked at the sample and I thought, oh, that's not very much. It's only like this little tiny bit in, in the pot. And then that looked a bit close. I was like, that's, that just doesn't look right to me. That looks like really, oh my God, it's sperm. The patient had given a sperm sample instead of urine and I could feel my face getting brighter and brighter and brighter thinking oh, I don't know how to say this to this patient that they've given the wrong sample and I stood there it, it felt like forever at just holding this sample and I just went thank you uh, and then luckily I was working with another nurse <laughs> and I went over to the other nurse and I said sorry I was a healthcare assistant at the time but she was a nurse so I went over to the nurse and I handed her the sample and said good luck and I left the room <laughs> to explain to the patient what had happened <laughs> oh i'm evil that was a really bad thing that i did but um do you know what the poor patient apparently the patient was really great about it they had a laugh about it it was okay in the end no harm was done guys and it was all right they, they were fine about it they didn't realize what happened and but it's okay it's, it was all fine in the end but yeah, that was uh, a moment and a half. So coming back to student nurse days. Uh, so I was a student nurse on the ward and we had this one patient. They were very, very constipated. And uh, the nurse said to me, do you want to do this enema? And I said, yeah, yeah, no problem. So lie the patient on the side, give the enema. For those of you who don't know what an enema is, this particular one was a water solution that goes into the rectum. You squirt it in there. They hold it for 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And then it should ideally just flow out nicely and relieve them of their constipation. So yeah, so I'd left, left this patient and I'd come back and they said, I really, really need to get onto the toilet. I need to get onto the toilet. I was like, okay, okay. So I got the commode round, didn't think it would be an issue. Uh, and I thought the patient can just go from the bed to the commode, sorted. However, the way I was standing was not okay. So I, I had the patient here and the commode was here. So I was going like this with the patient my leg was there you can see what's going to happen guys and it came out all of these feces came out onto my leg and i just looked because i felt it land and i looked i was like <sighs> poker face i was like yeah yeah come on come on uh just have a seat no problem sat the patient down and then i went <laughs> as fast as I could out of that room uh, but the patient had no idea I, I wanted to compose myself uh, make sure the patient was okay and safe and everything was okay with them uh, but in my head I was like oh my god oh my god I've got poo on my leg I've got poo on my leg I don't know what to do with this I've never had this happen uh, so yes yeah, so I had to go get some trousers clean my trousers down all that jazz I won't make that mistake again. So I had a patient once upon a time at no point in my career, I shall not tell you who or when or where this was. I had a patient and they came in for some wound care. So they needed a dressing on their one of their legs uh, because they had, they had some scratches and wounds and things like that. They got really, really infected. Uh, so I was doing some dressings on the leg and I said, let me just check your other leg. As I pulled up the trouser leg, I was like, Oh, 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 this is in my head. I was thinking, oh my God, oh my God, it's a fake leg, it's a fake leg, it's a fake leg. Oh my God, pull the trouser down, pull the trouser down. Oh my God, what have I just done? I've just asked to check the other leg when it's not a real leg. <sighs> I 
died again I died inside but on the outside I said oh yeah you've got your prosthetic here is this okay is your stump okay have you had any problems with anything no no that's fine okay I'll just pull that down <sighs> trying to avoid eye contact with this patient's carer that had come with them uh because I know I, if I looked at them they would click on and it, we would just end up yeah dying inside together <laughs> and that's not okay but oh my gosh what a mistake to make However, something happened. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you, but somebody else has made this mistake too. Uh, I won't say who, and I don't, won't say again where it was, where we were working, whatever, in the past together. Uh, but this patient did the same sort of thing. However, it was an ECG lead. <laughs> I put it on the, I put it on the fake leg, and then couldn't work out why it wasn't registering. we've all done these things before but oh my gosh when this person told me i died inside obviously they corrected it and everything and it was all okay uh but yeah it's just these little things that we have to be mindful of when we're out there as student nurses healthcare assistants nurses in the future these little things can happen Another funny moment, so this was a different care home that I had started working at and they asked me to go and see to this patient, get them up, help them to get washed and dressed and all of that jazz. Uh, so I went into this patient's room, I didn't know much about them before I went in, I just they just gave me the briefing and that they needed help and assistance but actually they're okay for most of it. Uh, so I went into this room and nobody told me uh, that this patient had dementia, which is not a problem, you know, uh, but however, this patient thought that they were a matron of a ward still. So when I went into their room, they quizzed while I was, whilst I was there and if I was there for the interview. And so luckily for me, I'm quite a fast thinker on my feet. So I said, oh yes, yes I am. So I just went along with this thing and she said, oh, come down, sit down and we'll do this interview. And I was like, I'm gonna be interviewed for this job. <laughs> So I had to sit down with this patient and pretend to be interviewed. Thankfully, I got the job. Uh, she grilled me, but yeah, I was answering these questions. And then at the end of it, the cheek said, so what job were you here for? And luckily, again, thinking on my feet, uh, I said to the patient, oh, I'm actually here to be your personal assistant. So now I'm, I'm here to gonna help you get washed, help you get dressed and do all, help you with all these little things in your life to make your life easier. And luckily, she was amazing. She was like, oh my gosh, thank you. And then that was it. Done. <laughs> oh, but the sweat that was dripping off of my forehead, I'm sure, at that point. Another funny moment in nursing. I don't know if I should say this out loud. Nobody actually knows this. I think it'll be okay, but... I'm gonna get red just uh, thinking about it, but it's okay. Okay, so I was when I was working in a care home, I shall not name which one, because I've worked in a few. Uh, I was working with this other person and we were getting this patient help, helping this patient get washed and dressed and things like that. And then we were hoisting them. Uh, and then, oh, I can't say it. And then um, all of a sudden, you know when, oh, <laughs> I can't. All of a sudden, you know where sometimes you're doing something and uh, you let out a little fart. <laughs> it's happened to me, okay, I, di I died inside, but it was very loud. I didn't expect it, it just came out of nowhere. And luckily the other person I was working with looked at the patient and she looked at me and she was like, <laughs> she thought it was the patient. <laughs> It was me, I was that person. Oh, look at me, I've gone red. It was me, I'm sorry. I'm really going to hell for all of this. I'm gonna leave that one at the end because I'm hoping nobody's gonna get to the end of this vlog and uh, just cut it out or something, I don't know. And lastly, I'm sure there's a lot more funny moments, but these are the, just the ones off the top of my head right now in this second for this vlog. I don't prepare my vlogs, as you know. But lastly, one of my best moments, because it's usually me that messes up and it ends up as a funny moment. So uh, when I was working in sexual health, I can say this actually quite publicly because everyone knows about it. Uh, so when I was working in sexual health, um, we had our matron's office 
and I've never been in matron's office. No one ever goes to matron's office unless you're in the, or uh, I don't know, you need to sign something or something. I don't know, but I've never been into matron's office. So I've got no idea. I had no idea what it looked like. Uh, but as I was walking past, the door was open and it was wedged open. And two of the nurses that I knew were sort of standing there and they were sorting out all the medications they'd had a delivery so they were checking them off and all that checking expiry days whatever they do with the medications back then uh and i didn't think anyone else was around so i was walking past and i saw them and i went quick run steal all the drugs <laughs> and then i just heard <clears throat> and i looked around the corner matron <laughs> matron was in the corner and i was like only joking luckily I heard her giggle as I walked down the corridor. So it wasn't too bad. It was okay, guys. Whew, never again. Anyway, these are the funny moments that I've shared with you today. Let me know. Do you have any funny stories to tell? Any funny, awkward moments that you've had in your nursing career? Please let me know. Obviously, maintaining confidentiality and all that jazz. But it's really good to have these little moments because, do you know what? We're only human and it is part of the NMC code as well that we can have a sense of humour. So don't come at me for these. Uh, but yeah, just keep in mind confidentiality, please. And yeah, let's share some really funny, happy moments. But for now, have a great day.